Hey guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to take boring white background product photos like this and turn it into something like this all on autopilot with Google's Nano Banana and Make.com. The best part about this is it's not just eye candy. I think it's sellable. If a store is stuck with a plain white background images, you could generate it for their brand and pitch it right back to them. That being said, the best way to use this automation is to pick a brand that's got a specific niche or niche, depending on where you're watching from, because that's gonna help you create the ultimate prompt. For example, if it's workwear, you can train it to give like hard Mars, like industrial vibes. And if it's a beauty brand, you can push for light, soft, neutral tones. That way the AI isn't guessing, you're steering it. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of how to do this and what it's actually going to look like in action. So here we are in Make. Step one is to use Zoho Work Drive. I'm a big fan of Zoho Work Drive, so you could try it out by scanning this QR code over here. Uh, what you're gonna do is put a folder ID and in that folder, pull all the images you want to use. So in this case, unlike what I said before is to use a specific niche, I've taken a whole bunch of just generic different industry images so I can show you guys the full capabilities of every different style. And on top of that, I've got three different styles that are gonna get generated per image. So it's gonna be really, really cool. Then second module is to download the file, put in this ID, from the previous module. Then you're going to ignore this part. This is just for me to show you guys the results in a nice form. I'm just gonna WhatsApp it back to myself. And this part over here is the reference image. These parts over here are gonna be the each stylized image. Okay, so upload the file to Gemini. Just map it straight to this download a file module. All right, so now we're going to create a completion with Gemini AI and set the role to user, uh, message type file, and then attach the uh, MIME type and then the URL or URI where it's coming from. And then second one is a text message and it says describe the image attached. I need relevant information to be able to generate modern product banners for social media. The better the description, the better image generated will be later. And feel free to refine that, but it's worked pretty well in my case. Okay. So next thing you wanna do is add a router. And then we've got three different avenues over here. And each of these avenues is going to create a different stylized image in, uh, take that same plain white background image and create a different style of it. So the first one is going to be creating like an action shot, like a product in the moment. The second one is gonna be creating one like, it's got like a dramatic spiral type of thing around it. And this one is going to be a, like a, lie, a a flat image with like just some like tones around it. And how I got these prompts is I took photos I liked and I asked Gemini to describe it to me in a way that makes sense for a prompt. So that's your secret to finding the right prompt. So this part is now generating a prompt based on the description of the image and then over here, we're going to say, okay, Nano Banana is the AI model, uh, the user, then the file type, and then reattach the same reference image because it's got to, it retains the knowledge, right? So we're going to be able to take that image that we originally uploaded and then combine it with the prompt so that it says, take this image and then put it in this scenario. And over here, it says, generate me an image based on this prompt, which is coming from there and just return the image generated, no need for text. Uh, then there's a few other settings, response modality image, uh, temperature 35, top P 75, top K 55. Those are what I found work, but each of these you could adjust per brand. Then I click run once. It's gonna get those files. And first it's gonna send me a reference image this is the image from the drive. Now it is creating the prompt. Here's the first image. It's coming through as like a in action shot, which I like. Still kind of uh, understood that it needs to make it some, some variability of rugged and workman style. Okay, now the next one we're expecting more like a product central, you know, centralized product photo, yeah, 
See how it's got like the rubble coming off it. Very cool. And let's see the last one. I also like that's going to be more of a flat background with some elements on the sides. Very cool in with a spanner and some tools. So next one's a toolbox. Uh, I'm going to jump to a folder where I've got a whole bunch of finished products to spare you guys the time, but that's just going to run. Uh, some of them, obviously they got actually got better and better as I was testing. Uh, I really liked the, the, the soap ones came out really stunning. Like, yeah, th these just blow my mind. Um, I mean, how stunning and beautiful is this? Just nice background, clean cut, added all the ingredients. Um, even when it added text, it did well. You know, it, it understood the assignment. And yeah, it, it just, some of these are just fantastic. Uh, ready to use, I would, some of them you could run ads on like today. Uh, you do have to watch it. Sometimes it tweaks the output of the product. Uh, so there is some elements to training it and to make sure it outputs something that's usable. And obviously different products adapt better to this. So if it's a very detailed looking product, you may have some slight issues. Uh, I must say the toolbox tended to, it tended to change the colors. Um, I nailed it in a little bit better towards the end and it, it got a bit better at not changing the colors. But yeah, that's all on autopilot now. That's just going to run. The cost of this is like cents to, to produce each image. So I would produce one for each brand and, uh, you know, take five, 10 images for each brand, send them five different styles and send it over. You could also use ChatGPT agent mode to find you the brands and the types of products that they're in or if you have access to like amazon or here in south africa we use um take a lot and like all of the product images are just plain white background images it has to be so you can pick the brand i just grabbed this random one and you can just scrape all of their images and run it through your system so it's a very very powerful very very exciting tool uh, it's a little bit offbeat of the regular finance automations but i thought you guys might like this as a potential side hustle potential way to make some money or a potential way to really boost and enhance your e-commerce brand one last thing is you could also connect this to your shopify as the front uh, source for the image download the image and then run that in and then theoretically upload it back to shopify or you can upload it to a file first and yeah, WooCommerce, the potential for this is just endless. I mean, you could have tens of thousands of products and just run this and just have an absolute stunning catalog after that. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video.